The water contamination issue remains a big problem for the city of Imperial Beach as businesses struggle to get people into their doors. <laughs> How's it going, Rock? The Crown at Yield Plank Inn in Imperial Beach may be smaller nowadays, but the camaraderie is still the same. Exactly. Co owner Marty Mattis shares what life's been like the last few months. It's been a slow slope. We used to have all of that business come down here this time of year. I mean, the bar would be packed with people from Minnesota, from Wisconsin, from Iowa, from Chicago. None of that's here right now. Since the beach closures began, Marty says they've seen about a 40% loss of revenue during the day. What used to be a steady flow of customers all day Why you hand me the glass? has become a handful of regulars stopping in. We made $3. We sold one soda all morning. Two of those regulars are George and Don, who come here three times a week after their walk along the pier. Don has been known to think five in a row. They have their morning coffee and shoot a couple games of pool. Even they've noticed the empty streets and parking lots. I think because of the pollution on the beach, a lot of people are just not even walking. But Marty says despite the stress, he's focused on staying positive. The kitchen staff doesn't come in till four. Trying to get the word out about helping the local economy. Very stressful. You wake up at night, you know, just like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? And, but the thing is, is that the people of Imperial Beach are resilient. My motto is the beach may be closed, but the businesses aren't. Come down to visit us. Marty says he's hopeful the water contamination issue is resolved by this summer, which is typically their busiest time of the year. Reporting from Imperial Beach, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.